so it's uh, five o'clock in the morning on Saturday morning. And, uh, <coughs> excuse me. Um, so the plan is uh, we're going to divide up even more. Uh, we got um, Papa John and Jack and Brad. They're going to go back to campsite one. Uh, Fireball is just going to hike on out. There's only two miles, three miles, three, probably about three miles or so to the trailhead that we started at. And he's going to go home. He's got to go to a wedding. Um, Crow and I are going to try to do this 20, 15 or 20. Uh, I'm definitely going to do the 20. Uh, Crow's going to make a decision. We get up to about 15. Uh, miles at a junction where he can either do the 20 or do the 15 to campsite one where we're going to camp at tonight. It's starting to sprinkle and I know that they were calling for some rain so hopefully it just sprinkles um, and just intermittent rain showers here and there. Um, Brad is actually going to carry my tent to campsite one since it's only two miles from here. And also, uh, I think Papa John's going to carry a uh, crow's tent so we can lower our pack weight, so we can maybe uh, increase our speed when we're hiking and not be so fatigued on this big hiking day. But we're just going to be meandering around in the, um, uh, in the, uh, Cades, or not in the Cades Cove area, but in the Abrams Creek area. Uh, right off the bat, we're going to go to K Abrams Creek loop back down and all around <laughs> it's kind of hard to explain just by telling you about it but the map will show you more uh, of uh, of the route I'm going to be taking uh, today but anyway as like I said it's uh, a little after five now I'm going to go ahead and get some coffee and get stuff broken down that I am going to carry with me and we're going to move on um, alright well, stay tuned Let's see what happens today. It may be a wet one. I don't know. But stick with me and I'll show you some stuff. So we're on our way in the dark on the 20 mile day and it's starting to steadily rain more. I don't know how much filming we to do so I did not bring my umbrella to shield my uh, GoPro which I have a mic on and it can't get wet so I may just convert back to the GoPro take the mic off, use the GoPro mic. Okay, so it's raining pretty good on us. Um, like I said, I just don't know how much I'm going to be able to film. Crow's going to put his rain jacket on. I'm going without. I've got my uh, pack cover on. And I'm just going to roll with it. Um, it's not cold. I'd say it's uh, probably mid-60s more than likely. Uh, but, uh, you know, as we're hiking, it's keeping us, uh, keeping us warm. So, but we're here at the junction. You can see um, we're going to hike uh, Abrams Falls. is 1.7 miles uh, from us right now, and we're going to keep going on that path, and then we're going to get on uh, 
another little trail once we get to that trail head and uh, hopefully we'll be able to check in then and there won't be any rain. stopped raining for the time being um, I'm soaking wet uh, we got stuff dripping from the leaves but uh, we're just above Abrams Falls it was completely dark when we went by it so um, we didn't really get any views uh, of that unfortunately um, but uh, still nice um, trails in good shape as far as not having a lot of standing water and uh, everybody's in good spirits I guess everybody crow and myself <laughs> I'm in good spirits he may not be but I'm in good spirits uh, like I said I'm soaking wet uh, but as long as I keep moving I'm fine um, I'm curious to see if the temperature is going to drop as this uh, rain system moves through and if it does uh, I'll have to uh, put my tights on in my long sleeve uh, shirt. But anyway, we're gonna <coughs> keep uh, hiking on and get up here to the trailhead at Abrams Creek and uh, look at the map and see where we go, see how many miles we've hiked so far this morning. Uh, we hiked in the dark uh, all the way well, past Abrams Fall, and uh, now, like I said, we're heading to the trailhead. Okay, so we're coming up on the uh, Abrams Creek Trailhead, and got a little bridge to cross. Uh, 2.5 miles uh, since the Abrams Creek crossing. I probably look I'm like a hot mess right now in my hair. That's all right. All right, so we're gonna cross this bridge and get on wet bottoms, and uh, we're gonna keep pushing on. trail for about a mile and it's kind of ironic because my bottom is wet my feet <laughs> everything's wet uh, my shirt yeah it's wet too uh, everything's wet that's okay uh, we've embraced it and uh, uh, it's uh, just beautiful through here uh, we're gonna hook up on Cooper Road and if you remember from night one we camped on Cooper Road but we are headed to campsite one again tonight. Uh, but I've got to make some miles um, when we get to the intersection that goes down to it. I'm going to go the opposite way. It's a dead end. And i got to get to the end of that, turn around, come back. So I'm going to backtrack. You guys know how I hate backtracking. But there's no way out of it got to everybody has to on that trail so we'll just uh, keep uh, keep moving forward
Okay, so we're coming up on a trail intersection. Wet bottom trail this way. The Soggy Bottom Boys. The Soggy Bottom Boys. So the Elijah Oliver cabin that way. I may have to come back up here and do that little quick hike with the family. I'll have to check my list to see if that's one of the official trails uh, that's listed. If it is, no problem. Easy access to the trailhead. Okay, so we're officially going to be on Cooper Road. We finished Wet Bottom Trail. Check that off the list. Uh, we've got 5.5 uh, the beard cane. Wow, this is beautiful. Take a look. So we're at our intersection that we've been speaking about. Beard K. Cooper. Ah, only 5.4 to the Ranger Station. 1.8 to Kane. Hatcher Mountain Trail. I'll be doing this at a later date to try to get that 900. Uh, but it's not on today's itinerary. It's a wives tale that uh, if a spider webs are out, it's probably not going to be any rain because they don't build when it's it rains going to destroy it. It makes sense. But Care less about water right now. It's like crossing water. Trail, Little Bottoms, and Campground, Cooper Road Trail. So that's the way to camp. But here's where Crow's got to make up his mind if he's going to go down Cane Creek Trail with me. 2.1 to the park boundary. What do you say, Crow? I'm going to do it. He's going to do it, everybody. He's going to do it. <laughs> I'm feeling good. The body's feeling good right now. Um, um, right now, I feel like I probably do a 30. Uh, I, I, felt, I feel better than I have all uh, past couple of days when we uh, started a hike. So, um, but uh, I'll let you know if that feeling continues. But man, we're going to try to knock out this 2.1 to the park boundary, turn around, come back another 2.1. 
and then head down to the uh, campground with the guys. So uh, anyway, I guess I uh, will see you down Beard Cane Creek. <laughs> I keep calling it Beard a Cane Creek Trail. Okay, so uh, here's campsite two. As I continue hiking around the Smokies, uh, I'm trying to commit to uh, filming all of the campsites that I come across. Just so if someone were to search out campsite two, they would know due to the tag that I put on it, that campsite two is very flat. It's a great campsite, bare tables, fire ring, plenty of firewood, plenty of places to hang a hammock. So campsite two looks very good. It is down um, Cane Creek Trail. All right, so we're gonna catch up with Crow, get to the end of this, uh, <coughs> end of this uh, trail, turn around, come back. We got another cream stream cream cream crossing. We got another stream crossing. Feet are already wet, and we don't care. <laughs> All right, so let's uh, let's get across this thing. Easy enough. So this is a, a very uh, wet trail. I guess you can see behind me the trail. <laughs> um, so got another little stream cross I've lost count I really have lost count on uh, how many little streams we've had to cross but yeah feet are already wet so we're just, like I've been saying all along we're just blowing right through the streams not taking our shoes off very liberating when you don't care and you've embraced it uh, my feet and while they haven't totally dried out all day long they stay kind of moist uh, <laughs> uh, they do dry some they don't totally dry out Okay, so we made it up, uh, what's name that? Uh, <laughs> Cane Creek Trail. We made it up back up to the top of it. Uh, we probably did about 2.3, two and a half miles per hour. Um, so um, down and up, so it was uh, doable. Uh, but uh, now we're gonna go that way and I gotta hit that 0.4 gold mine little um, trail I don't know what it goes to but it's 0.4 so I mean I'm going to be doing or 0 0.8, 0 0.8 0 .8. yeah so I'm going to have to do out and back on that one and then we're going to head keep heading down Cooper and then we're going to meet up with the guys so. so we got a Cooper Road Trail 3.1 down to the station Ranger Station Gold Mine Road Trail, Park Boundary Point Eight. Got to do that. Uh, he's gonna scrub. Did you like that climb, Crow? No. He told me it was all downhill. Yeah. Well, 
hikers lie. All right, so here's the <laughs> here's the point eight that we got to go up, uh, and I think it's we're still going up. <laughs> I think that was longer than 0.8. Alright, so I'm at the terminus of the gold mine. Loop. Gold mine, I'm sorry. Gold mine trail. I guess there's a mine up here. Alright, well, that's it. At one point, they mined gold here. What do you think? That's the longest uh, point eight ever. Wait, we go back? Yeah, I it's not it a loop. loop. No. Huh? No, it's not a loop. Well, it looks like a loop. No, that's On not a map. Loop, loop. So about 21 miles. It was not 20.3. 21 miles. We're back at campsite one. And the guys have burgers waiting on us. <laughs> ah, nice. How'd you sleep last night? Really good. Did tea help? Maybe six and a half hours. Man. I hadn't slept six and a half hours in a long time. Oh, it's uh, seven o'clock, and um, it's too damp to make a fire. Rads are asleep, or excuse me, crows are asleep. Papa John and I um, secured camp down and um, kind of made plans for tomorrow on when we're going to leave. But uh, it was a successful day. Uh, we did our 20 plus miles today. It's around probably it came out to probably around about 21 miles. But uh, but yeah, we did our um, I did that today. Crow uh, came with me as you saw, and uh, everybody is healthy. Uh, no one's in pain that I know of. I'm not. Uh, we'll have to see about Crow. Uh, in the morning, but um, but yeah, it was a very successful day, very successful hike. No one got hurt. Um, we know um, Brad um, went home um, to, I guess, to see his uh, daughters. Hey, daughters, uh, I know you guys are going to watch this. Uh, your dad was on YouTube. Um, and Jack, he just went out exploring today. He was supposed to come back, but he hasn't, so I don't blame him. I would get out and about and explore the area also and just get a hotel. Uh, and then Fireball, he went home this morning. He had a wedding today, and uh, that was the plan all along. So currently in camp right now, it's just Papa John, Crow, and myself. And we're all going to get up in the morning, and we're going to go find some breakfast someplace. Um... Uh, anyway, uh, I guess this is it, and I uh, appreciate you guys coming along and hiking with me. Uh, we had a great time, and uh, uh, I guess the next one up will be the BMT section in the Sm Great Smoky Mountains National Park. It's uh, about a 90-mile section, I believe. I'll have to check that and make sure, but I'm going to be hiking with uh, Leonidas, uh, and I'm going to meet up with him at Fontana. I've already got his resupply box. He's starting on October 31st down at Amicalola Falls in Georgia. And he's hiking the entire BMT all the way up here to um, the northern border of uh, the Smokies. But I'll be uh, joining that with him. It will be about a five-day hike. It's going to be a big hike. Uh, it's going to be average about 15 to 16 miles a day in the Smokies. Uh, just about every day except the last day we're only going to hike six miles 
down from Mount Sterling and Campsite 38. Uh, I've stayed there before, uh, but uh, looking forward to that. If you want to subscribe, uh, make sure you uh, click that little notification bell so when I add content, you'll get an automatic uh, notification that it is, um, it is up. So um, uh, thanks so much. We'll uh, see you guys uh, next time. Good night.